Does this sound like you or your partner? You are always insecure and especially about your relationships. You need to constantly be validated and reassured that everything is okay and that your partner still loves you. You tend to be clingy and can be extremely jealous. According to attachment theory, these are all signs of anxious attachment style that was probably formed as early as childhood. Now, if you are unfamiliar with attachment theory, it breaks down how we behave in relationships into four different types or attachment styles. Attachment theory defines the four attachment styles as one, secure attachment, which makes it very easy for you to form secure relationships. Two, avoidant attachment, which makes you emotionally unavailable. Three, anxious attachment, which makes you insecure about not being appreciated and strongly fear being abandoned. And number four, fearful avoidant attachment, which is a combination of anxious attachment and avoidant attachment. So real quick, what is an anxious attachment style? A person who has an anxious attachment style tends to feel nervous anytime that they are not around their partner. Research shows that about 20% of all people have an anxious attachment style. According to Doctor of Psychology Bobby Wagner, having an anxious attachment style makes you feel like your inner world is uncertain as well as the world that you share with the people who you are closest to. It also makes it hard to have empathy for people who are outside of your immediate circle of concern. So what causes an anxious attachment style to form? Anxious attachment develops in children when they have a parent who is emotionally insensitive or emotionally unpredictable. This might be a parent who is very loving and kind one minute, and then the next minute they are insensitive and emotionally unavailable. The child grows up not knowing what to expect from their parent, which makes them crave attention and strongly desire to have a connection with someone. A child with anxious attachment will have trouble depending on other people as an adult. They can be extremely uneasy about developing close bonds with other people because their childhood has taught them that the people they love and are close to are unpredictable and sometimes maybe even abusive. So what are the signs of an anxious attachment style? Number one, they are insecure about their own self-worth. You might feel like you aren't good enough for your partner or that you are even unworthy of being loved. Anxious attachment can make you have low self-esteem and you might think that you don't even deserve to be with your partner. Number two, they need their partner to constantly reassure them that they are still loved. Do you deeply need other people to pay attention to you? Anxious attachment style can make you crave other people's attention, and this is likely from the lack of attention that you received from your parents as a child. This can make you always need your partner to reassure you that they still love you and that you are good enough. Number three, very sensitive to or fixated on their partner's needs. Anxious attachment can make you very sensitive to and fixated on your own partner's needs and even make you neglect your own needs in favor of meeting your partner's needs. Number four, strong fear of rejection and abandonment. People with anxious attachment have a deep rooted fear of being abandoned. This is thought to stem from the unpredictable nature of their parents' love when they were a child. 
They grow up without the security of knowing that they have a constant source of love and affection, and they carry that insecurity into their adult relationships. Number five, can be extremely jealous and clingy. People with an anxious attachment style have a deep fear of being alone, so they tend to cling to other people. They also can become very jealous and possessive of their partner. Number six, they fall apart when their loved one is not around. Anxious attachment can make you emotionally dependent on your partner. Since people with an anxious attachment style need their partner's constant reassurance, whenever their partner is not around, they can fall apart emotionally. Number seven, prone to impulsive or aggressive behaviors. People with an anxious attachment style can have trouble regulating their emotions. They may go for a period of time without showing signs of emotion at all, and then all of a sudden they explode into an uncontrollable emotional mess. What happens is they all of a sudden become flooded with all the stress that they have been ignoring, and that can result in impulsive and even aggressive behaviors. Number eight, they crave intimacy, but also find it overwhelming. Anxious attachment can make you really want to be intimate with your partner, but also at the same time, afraid of opening up and allowing yourself to become closely bonded with another person. This can happen with physical intimacy, but also emotional intimacy. And you may be more comfortable with one form of intimacy, but not the other. Number nine, an anxious attachment style makes you fall in love easily and you can become obsessed with your partner. Because people with anxious attachment style crave intimacy, when they do give someone their trust, they tend to go all in. This can make you fall in love very quickly and very easily, and even be obsessively dedicated to your partner. And number 10, people with an anxious attachment style don't have many close friends. People with anxious attachment tend to put all of their energy into one relationship. Their significant other becomes their main object of attention, and they don't have many or any other close friends at all. Now let's talk about some behaviors of someone who has an anxious attachment style. According to the attachment project, if you have an anxious attachment style, you are extremely self-reflective, you try to improve yourself and perform your best, you do doubt yourself a lot, you feel like no matter what, you are never good enough. You want everyone to like you. You feel like people don't appreciate you enough. You neglect yourself so that you can take care of other people close to you. You have trouble making your own decisions. Sometimes you even have to be told what you need to do. You spend a lot of time overthinking things that you know aren't even of much importance at all. You cannot tolerate being rejected. You have a strong negative reaction to being criticized. You are emotionally dependent on other people for support. Please leave a like if you have enjoyed this video and make sure to subscribe for more great relationship and psychology videos. Please share this video if you have found it helpful. And if you want to know even more about attachment styles in relationships, click here to watch this next video and I will see you there.